An accused shooter in a road rage shooting is now a convicted murder. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brenda Medina. Let's get right to it. Local 23's Derek Garcia has been in the courtroom since the start of this trial. Derek, break down what happened today and what jurors saw. Good evening, Brenda. It took a week's worth of trial and a day's worth of deliberation for the verdict to come down. Guilty on the sole count of the indictment for murder. You can visibly see Fabian Paredes' hands shaking as the judge read the jurors' verdicts. We the defendant Fabian Martin Paredes guilty of the offense of murder as charged in the indictment. 33-year-old Fabian Paredes is now a convicted killer. Jurors listened to evidence of how his warning shot at Joshua David Sanchez during a road rage altercation turned deadly. The shot rang out near the Hidalgo County Courthouse back in October of 2017. The round went through Sanchez's chest, hitting a vital artery and his windpipe. Witnesses saw the blood coming out of his mouth. It's an image they'll never be able to forget. Yes. While officers were collecting evidence, surveillance footage captured by Leres and his wife checking into a South Padre Island hotel. The two frequented the island to get away, as both have serious medical issues. Jillian Ray Paredes suffers from Hodgkin's lymphoma and testified she and her husband believed Sanchez was going to kill them when he followed them from a gas station honking his horn and shouting aggressively. Surveillance video did not capture the shot. However, their truck had a windshield camera and was recording, according to forensic experts. However, the footage was deleted. We have this one gap, data before, a gap, and data after. Could the footage have cleared Paredes, who was believing he was acting in self-defense? Ultimately, jurors decided guilty. Today, obviously, we're disappointed with the result, uh, but um, from the from an attorney standpoint, uh, we raised every point that we could for him, and, and we believe, and I do believe to this day, that he is an innocent man. That was Derek Garcia reporting. Bond was revoked, meaning Paredes will stay locked up in jail until next Monday. That is when there will be a bond hearing to see if he will be released until his sentencing on December 10th.